Johnny. 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 Hello, sweet. Hello. Johnny. Johnny, mind your manners. Darling, where are we? Where I live. Oh, Johnny, you promised to change that tie. Oh, that hair. Uh, Julia, seriously, what is all this? I told you where I live. I wrote it down on the back of an envelope for you. But it's enormous. I'm overcome. It's the Grand Central Station. Yo! Bad echo. You stop it's... criticizing this house or I'll send for the bouncer. <laughs> Johnny, stop. Now, I'm off to Wait. church. Do you want to know what happened? Mm-hmm. I went around to the kitchen door to ask for you. Oh, you didn't. Well, I figured you were a secretary here, an old lady's companion. You sure you aren't? Cross my heart. My. Well, what's that silly thing? Look at that. No, stop it, Johnny. <laughs> you must all be so rich. Well, we, we aren't exactly poor. Julia, you should have told me. You really should. Would it have made any difference? Certainly. I'd have asked you to marry me in two days instead of ten. Aren't you funny, Johnny? Funny, why? Well, to, to talk about it. It? Money? Why, is it so sacred? No, of course not. Well, I'm simply delighted, that's all. If I suddenly discovered you could play piano, I'd be delighted, wouldn't I? You mean having money is like knowing how to play the piano? Oh, well, they're both very pleasant accomplishments for a girl. <laughs> Don't worry about it, dear. If I'm going to get stuck with a rich girl, I'll just grit my teeth, make the best of it. Oh, but darling, you're going to make millions yourself. Oh, but darling, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no. I'm oh, not. yes. No, not Mr. Case's little boy. I'm a plain man of the people. I began life with these two bare hands. So That's did the gentleman over the fireplace. Huh? Take hearts from grandfather. Don't tell me you're one of those Setons. Yes, Johnny. Forgive us, but we are. Oh, this is too much. What man has done, man can do. Or words to that effect. Now, see here, child. If you think I'm going to be any young wizard of finance, you're... <laughs> oh, cheer up. It's not all that serious. If you don't think my breaking the news of this engagement to Father is serious... I thought you said you were going to church. I am. That's where I'm clever. Because Father's in church, and in church, Father can't talk. Are you that afraid of him? No. But this is the best way. Your know, Father's a wonderful man, but he has to be handled just right. Oh. You leave that to me. Your job is to drop me off at church and be back before one for lunch. And Johnny, don't be late. His first impression of you is terribly important. What if I crawled in on my hands and knees? Would he like that, you know, sir? Oh. Now, don't jest, boy. Oh. oh, now, come on, darling. Let's not let the fun get out of it. Well, is it likely to? No, but... Uh... Say it. Well, what's the idea of spilling it so quickly? Well, I, I have to tell Father. He'd never forgive me. Yeah, but it could be such a swell, guilty secret for a while. I can't see what particular fun a secret would be. Can't you, dear? Well, no. All right. Yeah, it's getting pretty complicated, isn't it? Well, didn't think it'd be simple, did you? Mm, I suppose I just didn't think. I couldn't have. Oh. oh, Johnny. Johnny, what's the matter with you? Oh, well, I just hate the thought of sitting down with another man and being practical about you. got to be done, though. I love you, Julia. I love you, Johnny. That's the main thing, isn't it? Darling, that's everything. Kiss. Pleasure. Why, Julia, for shame, Julia. Is this a way to spend Sunday morning? Who's your partner? Anyone I know? Oh, it's, uh, uh Johnny, uh, my sister Linda. This is Johnny Case. How'd you do? Well, thanks, and you? Couldn't be better. Good. Johnny Case's name is. I'm going to marry him. Oh, that makes it all right. In just about one month, I'm going to marry him, Linda. What? Stand out here in the light, will you, Case? Well, I've never even seen him before. Neither had I until ten days ago at Placid. Well, how'd you happen to get together to tell Sister Linda everything? Well, well I was... Well, I... Go ahead. Well, 
I was walking along the road one morning on my way to the rink, when whom should I see but this man coming along carrying his skis? Hmm? Well, fancy that, a downright romance. Go on, dear. He had a queer look on his face. I can believe that. His eyes must have been burning. Oh, no. As a matter of fact, the trouble was with his nose. Oh? So I stopped him and said, uh, pardon me, I don't think you realize it, but your nose is frozen. And he said, thanks, I don't suppose there's anything you personally could do about it. Oh, fresh. I thought so, too. She was fresh to mention it. Looked to me like an out-and-out pickup. I know a good thing when I see it. Just a minute, please. Uh, does Father know about these goings-on? I'm off to church to tell him now. This modern generation. Well, young man, I hope you realize what you're getting yourself in for. <laughs> well, I must admit, I didn't know I was marrying into a house with an elevator. Oh, Ooh. it isn't only the elevator. The place is haunted. You mean ghosts? Frightful ghosts, all wearing stuffed shirts and mink-lined ties. Any skeletons in the closet? You mean to say that Julia hasn't told you about grandfather? No. Stole a railroad from the stockholders. Oh, no, that's oh. not true. And, of course, you've heard about me. I'm the black sheep. Ah! That's a goat. Johnny, don't pay any attention no, to it. No, it's too late. The engagement's off. I won't marry into a family with a black sheep. I think I like this man. Hello. Well, you'll see him at lunch. Bye-bye, darling. We've got to fly. See you at lunch, sis.